Question three is when trying to pick the right college and planning financial aid, what are the things you look into? And this question is by Beastie underscore zero eight one three. So I, when I was looking for schools, I wanted to get out of Massachusetts. Um, I ended up going to Rhode Island, so I was still in New England. But to me, that was really far because it was two hours. So that's like the first thing I looked for was I wanted to be like a good distance away from home. I wanted, that was like my way of getting out into the world. Um, and then I couldn't, I, I kind of had a budget of how much I knew I could spend on college. Um, because I didn't want to be in debt for years. I didn't want to be paying my student loans for years, which I probably still will be, but it's fine. Um, <laughs> <laughs> so I picked um, a state school um, in Rhode Island, and it was uh, a little cheaper, and then when I got the financial aid, I was able, it was more reasonable. So I think when you're looking at schools, kind of try to get fill out the FAFSA so you know how much money you'd be getting, um, figure out what you're getting for grants and scholarships and then add that into the tuition costs. But I think definitely doing your research on schools and then knowing what kind of programs you want to do at the school. So like location of the school, um, how much money you can spend on the school and knowing what program you want to do at the school are all really important because if you go through this whole process and look for a school, let's say you want to do a specific like nursing program or um, something more specific like oceanography and the school doesn't offer you that and you get accepted and go to the school and don't figure it out until you get there, you're gonna regret that. Um, Cause transferring is a lot of work. <laughs> so just keep that in mind when you're looking. And then when it comes to financial aid, I wasn't very good at looking at scholarships at the time. I didn't think about it as much in high school. So I definitely recommend, you know, junior and senior year going to your counselors and just kind of figuring out how much money you want to spend again in, for college and figuring out what kind of scholarships maybe the school offers or your high school offers, um, your job offers, and just, you know, beginning that search, your junior year is going to put a lot of pressure off you as you go into senior year and have to fill out all those applications. Um, uh, so financial aid obviously means a lot for college. Affordability is a huge issue for a lot of students, um, especially with student loans being so crushing um, for debt. Um, but I just want to say, like, I, I know a lot of people who are like, if I could do it over again, I would have gone to X state school or I would have done this to cut down costs and all that other stuff. Or I wouldn't have gone to this school because they didn't give me as much scholarship and blah, blah, blah. Um, I have a decent amount of student debt. And I had, when I, when, I, when I was a senior in high school, I remember very specifically, I have the two um, acceptance letters and the financial aid packages in front of me. And it was Champlain and my second choice school. And I sat down with my parents, and if I had gone to my second choice school, it would have been $18,000 a year. That's it, um, with all the scholarship they gave me, and I probably would have a quarter of the debt that I have. Yeah. Or I could have gone to Champlain, and I was sitting there with my parents, and I was like, well, this is a better choice financially, and it's, you know, here are the reasons why I should choose it. I said, I like the campus, I like this, I like that. And my parents were like, well, what do you think of the program? I was like, it's, it's okay. And they said, well, what do you think of Shane Plains program? I said, I love it. This is, I really want to go to the school. And they said, well, go, go to that school because, you know, there are things you can do financially. There are ways to make it cheaper. And looking back now, like even with the amount of debt I have I, and knowing that my second choice school is actually higher, more highly ranked on the U.S. News and World Report and all those other things, I look back and I'm like, well, what if I had gone to that school? Maybe I would have done this. Maybe I would have done that. And then I look at the things that I do have from like going to Champlain, I have um, the friends that I have, I have the internships, the experiences that I have, and I think, well, I wouldn't have gotten those at this school. I would have gotten different ones, maybe better ones, maybe worse ones. Um, and I look back and I think, you know, what? I'm not, I'm not against taking on that debt. Um, it's it sucks, <laughs> straight up. But um, you know, being where I am now, I would not have gotten to this place. I wouldn't be working for College Express. I wouldn't be where I am physically and emotionally now without Champlain. And I, I think that definitely outweighs the cost of, or definitely outweighs saving um, that much money and having gone to that school for so much less. So affordability is super important. <clears throat> and for some people that can be the defining factor. But I personally, I say if, if you're gonna be unhappy someplace, it's 
worth doing that extra money um, just because you you don't want to be depressed for four years to save. Especially if you know what you want to do. Yeah, especially you know if you know what you want to do. I went in undeclared. I had no idea what I wanted to do till like I'm junior year at yeah. college. <laughs> I ran in a while. Um, so it kind of just made more sense for me in that way to look at it at a money standpoint. Yeah. But yeah, you definitely, if you know what you want to do and yeah. you know the school has a great program and you've always had your heart set on that, then definitely you can find a way to figure out how to make it work, yeah. money. And if you're anyone, if any of you are like me, um, I didn't change my major three times, but um, I went in thinking I was going to do nursing. Um, I got there, was a graphic design student, and then trans, not transferred, but switched into business because um, I had like a midlife crisis my freshman year. Um, you know, not sure what I wanted to do. And, you know, it's really intimidating. I think at such a young age, um, you take on this responsibility of trying to decide you know, where your path will take you in the future. Um, and that plays a really big role in the college decision. Um, and so for me, I luckily I chose a school that offered many different um, yeah. majors that I was somewhat interested in. So I think, you know, um, when you're looking for schools that, you know, say you want to go for business and you're so set on that. I mean, who knows, you might start taking classes and you decide, oh my gosh, this might not be for me. Um, so I have a backup major. Um, I wrote a list of like top five, even though through a four and five, I wasn't like too keen on, but at least I know if I like went to a school somewhere and I liked my friends and like the professors and the atmosphere and the social life, um, at least you have some fallback options because I changed my mind so many times and luckily I wasn't stuck where um, I thought I was gonna do nursing and thankfully I did not choose that path, so. <laughs> yeah, I think uh, just going back to what Kara was saying, is similar to my road where I knew what I wanted to do for a major was, and so I, for me, that was the most important thing of finding a school that not only offered the major, but it was a program that I liked. Champlain did a great job by having that upside down curriculum and being like, you can get into those classes yeah. your freshman year, which to this day is still my favorite thing about that, that whole experience. But if you don't know, uh, if you have a vague idea of what you want to do in majors, Katie, you bring up a great point of having a few fallbacks because if you find a campus that you really like and it's in your budget, it's okay. Here's yeah. like here's my home, and I can fit into these different positions. Uh, that that's fantastic. Uh, I also think location, as you mentioned, uh, Mackenzie, is, is huge too because depending on where you want to go, uh, you have that dilemma of in-state versus out-of-state yeah. tuition, and uh, the cost being significantly higher depending well depending on what school you're going to yeah. if it's a public school or not but impossible traveling fees yeah. Yeah. fly somewhere mm -hmm. definitely if you're yeah. traveling back and forth and uh so it really comes down to and what i wrote down is like my big takeaway is ultimately it comes down to your means and what you can afford and don't go bankrupt yeah uh have have that option of Kara mentioning i had these two choices both i could afford yeah one was going to be significantly less for me in the long run for debt, and I wouldn't have to worry about it. But here's the program I really like. I yeah. fit well in there, and I really enjoyed my time there. And you ended up going that route. And people could be on the complete opposite. Yeah. Like, you know what? These are the two. I actually want to be you know, a little bit more financially uh, stable yeah. so I can take the, that road. And I bet you, like you said, you're going to have two different experiences, but you're still going to come out with a great program. Yep. So that's not to knock any of the public schools, if you're in-state versus out-of-state, any of that stuff. Uh, find what you want to do. Find something that fits what you like. Make sure you have the money uh, and the ability to do it. Yep. And also, you know, like you said, go out and get scholarships. Yep. And uh, KD at a scholarship for being an athlete. So if you want to talk about that. Yeah, definitely. Um, so I play, have been playing sports my whole life. Um, picked up the field hockey stick, loved it. Um, and I wasn't sure if I wanted to play in college just because, you know, it's a very demanding um, schedule I'd have to follow. Um, I would commit myself for four years and I did play the highest level um, of collegiate sports. So I knew going into that, it was going to be I would sacrifice a lot of things um, and I knew I have a twin brother so my parents had to worry about both of us mm -hmm. going to college at the same time. Um, luckily I was being recruited for to different schools all different levels um, and just so happened that UMass Lowell offered me something that I couldn't refuse and I kind of took that leap of faith um, you know five hours away on my own um, I'm like training like crazy for this I'm you know getting screamed at I'm like 
sprinting with my team and like going through just like a bunch of different things. It was very overwhelming. Um, and for the scholarship process, um, you know, I just kind of kept an open mind. I think I wasn't looking for anything. I wasn't saying, okay, I'm only going to go to this school if they offer me X amount and more. Um, because I did want to take the opportunity to kind of pursue my passion and what I wanted to study. And, you know, I found a school that like fit like a lot of things for me. And, um, so it kind of took me this way and now I'm up here. So obviously worked out well. Um, but so if any of you are, you know, trying to be recruited, um, looking into the whole scholarship and sports, um, Division One offers scholarships. Um, I think Division Two does it well, but Division Three does not for athletics. So you'd have to find an alternative route for that. Um, I think D three schools offer a lot of academic money, so that's a different alternative to the sports scholarship. Um, but I think in that in that sense, just keeping an open mind, and you know, you're being recruited for a reason. You have some athletic talent that someone sees, and they see potential in you, and so it just kind of believing in yourself and going that route, um, take that leap of faith and just go for it. <laughs> when you were applying to schools, did you know you wanted to be a nursing major? Um, yes. So I, my coach laughs at me because I was so set on that. And I actually had to bring up, I think my SAT score and I ended up doing it. And then like last minute, I was like, you know what coach, like I can't do this. I'm not doing it. Like I'm going to do this. And she, she laughs now because she's like, you were so, like, so sure about it. And I think I had like um, a certain instance where I was like, yep, I'm not doing nursing, this is not for me. Um, and so she was really great in helping me um, make the switch and figure things out because she was kind of like the bridge between me and the nursing school at my university. Um, and she was like, no problem, you know, moving on, we'll go to the next college and we can get you all settled in. I must have been so busy freshman year because the nursing program is really intense even freshman year. Yeah, yeah. yeah. a lot of my friends um, on the team who are nursing majors they ended up finishing strong four years of nursing yeah. and field hockey. I don't know how they did it, but, you know, they're superstars, so yeah. um, shout out to them. <laughs> but it, it's just all about finding a balance between your sport and your studies. Um, so it with you, you learn great time management, I have to admit, and the coaching staff was really great in, like, making sure we had, like, if we had to go to a study hall, you know, no problem. You can leave practice early. So um, the importance of academics is, of course, like, priority um so being able to manage that was not as awful as i thought going into it <laughs> yeah i think uh just to wrap everything up is you know finding the college and the financial aid yeah. there's a whole slew of options that you can yeah. do if you're an athlete you can potentially go down that road and find scholarships that are for you and schools will pay different amounts and whatnot uh you can jump onto the college express and mm -hmm. find everything but again, I just want to drive home that point yeah. of find something that fits and isn't going to make you go bankrupt. Yeah. Otherwise, um, what's the point?